at Shane Storms with DrawerModerX.com and Jay Case alongside Sean Boper has developed an exploit for the HTC Droid DNA. Uh, what this does is it erases the CID so that we can rewrite it so that we can actually use the HTC dev program to unlock this device. So this video is not showing you how to unlock the bootloader. This video is showing you how to erase Verizon's block on HTC dev so that we can unlock the bootloader. So I'll show you guys how to unlock the bootloader with HTC dev in the next video. But right now we're just preparing our device so that it can be unlocked using HTC dev. Uh, so the first thing we want to do with our device, we want to head into settings. We'll need to install the drivers, so we'll go to settings and developer options. And you'll want to turn developer options on, enable USB debugging, then just plug your device into your PC. And what that'll do is it will prompt your PC to automatically install the drivers. Once you've installed the drivers, you can head to your computer. Okay, so with your device plugged into the computer, you're going to want to open a command prompt. So just go to start and type CMD and hit enter and then from here you're just going to type ADB devices and hit enter and the serial number of your DNA should show up on the screen uh, if the drivers were installed successfully so there they are and we are ready to go okay so you'll need to install the SDK um, I have a video guide of how to install the SDK so I'll link to that in the description and then, of course, you need to head to the androidpolice.com page. Uh, they'll have the download links. We've got a backup.ab. It is 300 megabytes. It took me about one hour to download it over 4G. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then the DNA team and irc.zip, you'll need to have both of those downloaded. Once those are downloaded, we're going to unzip the DNA team and irc and put that in our ADB. I'm just going to extract this to the desktop. So the files that we need to add to our platform tools uh, or wherever your ADB file is stored is the runme.sh, the cidgen.apk, and the backup.ab. So we'll go ahead and open up our platforms folder. So if you installed your SDK via my tutorial, ADB is going to be in the C drive, Android SDK windows, and platform tools. You'll see your ADB file here. So now we need to transfer all of those files, the runme.sh, the CID gen APK, and the backup AB. We will move that as well. So once all your files are moved, you'll need to open up the readme text and go ahead and take a moment to read that. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Okay, so basically it's a disclaimer just saying that if the process doesn't go properly, if you don't follow directions, you might end up with a bricked phone. So you want to pay very close attention to the tutorial as you follow along. Um, and then there's also some donate links and all kinds of information about Android Police, Roots Wiki, and Team and IRC, JCase. Uh, so you want to definitely take a look at this before you get started. Okay, so we'll head to the page on Android Police where all the directions and downloads are. I'm going to do this on my Mac today just because I was having some issues with my Windows PC but it should work on both devices and even in Linux it'll work just fine. So we'll go ahead and get started. So what I want to do on my Mac is I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. And I need to navigate to my platform tools. Okay, so once we're in our platform tools, we can go ahead and start copying and pasting our commands from the page on Android Police. So the first thing we want to do is adb install sidgen.apk. And enter. Okay, on this one I'll need to add a period Let's see, if you have that issue, just add a period and forward slash and then paste, like so. And then we'll go back to our guide. It says run the CID gen app from your phone and follow the directions on the app to ensure the SD card CD block image file exists on your phone with the following command. So we'll go to our phone. 
Okay, so we'll go to our phone and we'll open up that CID gen. And since you need your IMEI is needed, it will activate it here if you click yes. And see, I'm not seeing it in the list here. Uh, so the way that we'll find it is we'll go into settings. And about phone, phone identity. And you just need that last number there. So for me, it's four. So I'll go back to that application. And I'll just enter that four. Make sure you get it correct. And generate partition. It says that's been generated. So now we'll go ahead and copy and paste to our terminal. and click enter and it found it there so now we can move forward this is if it does exist continue with these commands so we'll go ahead and continue with these commands so you can see where it found it here uh, so now we can go ahead and continue so we'll go ahead and type the first line and then the second line And then the third line. Okay, so that's gonna start this loop. Now we need to open up a second terminal. Okay, so it's gonna do this never ending uh, cycle here. We're gonna open up another terminal. And we'll need to navigate back to the platform tools. Okay, and then we can go ahead and continue with the guide. So this process will loop forever and it gives a no such in a second terminal command prompt uh, ADB to restore the modified backup after running this command. The phone will ask for your permission to restore the file. Go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and type the command in that second window. This is now unlock your device and confirm the restore operation. So now we need to go to our phone. Okay, we'll go ahead and unlock the phone and just restore my data. This is restore starting. So we're just going to kind of wait for that to finish. Okay, so when it's finished, it's going to return to a prompt here. Now we can go ahead and move forward. This is after the restore is finished, you'll need to stop the run me script in the first terminal. Use control C or just close the window. So we can go back and close the window. We'll use control C to stop it like so. And we can go to the next second window. This is from this point forward, you're past the point of return. Do not continue if you will not be able to follow instructions 100% as rebooting or powering down the phone at the wrong time will break your device. Sure your phone has at least 50% battery life remaining before continuing. So. Our phone has 50% battery, so we'll go ahead and continue the process. We'll go ahead and type these in that second window, one at a time. Okay, and the second one. And the third. And the fourth. And the fifth. ADB reboot. And the last. So our phone did just reboot. 
So we'll go ahead and paste this last command here. So the, the device is rebooting as we speak. Okay, it says now repeat the first exploit, so we'll go ahead and do that now. So in the first window, we're going to type the runme.sh. And get that process going, and then we'll go down and do the adb restore backup.ab. In the second terminal, Okay, so now it says to unlock your device and confirm the restore. So that's what we did, and we'll give that a few minutes to finish its process. So just be waiting for uh, the command line to show back up. Okay, so that process is finished. Now we need to go back over here and hit Control C to cancel that process. Now we can go back to the tutorial. We have just three more commands to type. We'll do that in that second window. Okay, and then we'll go to the second line. Paste and enter. Then we have just one more to type. A to B reboot, and we should be ready to go to HTC Dev to unlock our device. Okay, so our phone's rebooting. Uh, we should have the CID all changed and we should be ready to go to htcdev.com to unlock our device. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, but check out the, the links in the description. That'll take you to Android Police where you can get the correct files and also the written tutorial. Uh, and then also check out my channel uh, youtube.com slash droidmoderx that's where I'll have my unlock guide thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next one